Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time for us to show you a video on this amazing pre-owned LeBlond 19 inch swing by 150 inch between center engine lathe. This machine is serial number 4E810 and it happens to be our stock number 5453. The machine is currently running at 35 RPMs. We're going to go ahead and run through the machine and show you its features and its functions and all the tooling that comes with it. Go ahead, Frankie. I got a good angle on you here. Here's 68 RPM, folks. Ninety-seven RPM. Okay, speaking of the spindle speeds, there's twelve spindle speeds ranging from twenty-five to one thousand RPM. There's forty-eight threads and forty-eight feeds in inch mode. One hundred ninety-four RPM. We're currently running a ten-inch three-jaw Cushman chuck. Two hundred sixty-five RPM. Yeah, I'd love to see some feeds, you bet. Okay, LeBlond, American-made machine with all common wear parts available through the uh, LeBlond factory. What a great machine. All right, what are we seeing here? We're seeing the cross slide. Okay, there's 48 feeds, ranging from 0.0023 to 0.132 IPPER. I'd like to take advantage of some time to show you the condition of the ways on this machine. Uh, we talked about the threading. It goes from uh, 2 to 112 TPI. Showing you a close-up of the ways. Up near the headstock. Go ahead, Frank. I'm going to give him a general. 363. 363 RPM. Here's the tail stock. Here's your two steadies. One has a 6 inch hole, one has a 10 inch hole. A lot of machine to show in a short period of time here. Okay, 724 RPM. Running great. 1,000. Machine's currently running at 1,000 RPM. That's its top speed. Oh, that was exciting. Thanks for showing us those speeds. Okay, so in conclusion, we have a 9,000 pound overall weight. The machine can either be wired for 220 or 440. It's three phase. What was the current voltage on it? 220. It's currently running at 220. Here is your beautiful heavy duty 18 inch four jaw Cushman chuck as the one piece top jaws as well as an L2 direct mount drive plate. The machine is also equipped with an inch and three quarter on the spindle bore, has a number four Morse taper in the tail stock. Here's your five horsepower main drive motor. I'm going to show you the uh, rear of the machine here with the removable chip pans that slide out from the front. Here's the lovely taper attachment with the bed clamp. We apologize for the lighting in this area. It's not the, the best lighting. Oh, thank you. Okay. We're getting a little added bonus here. We're seeing the rear of the cross slide. Let me get up close and show them that. I want to show them the front of the cross slide too. I'm going to meet you around the front. Okay, so rear of the machine, concluding taper attachment, your tail stock with your number four Morse taper, your six inch and ten inch steady rest, confirming the serial number 4E-810,
Heavy duty rugged design. Here's your removable chip pans. Easy to access and clean out the chip pans. Okay. Looking great. Okay, well that about wraps it up. We just wanted to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know. Uh, one last little tidbit of information. The footprint on this machine may be critical, it might save you a few minutes when you're laying it out. It's 17 foot overall length. So that being said, from the left to the right of the machine, we're a full 17 foot. Front to back, we're 44 inches. And the overall height on the machine comes in at approximately 53 inches. As well as the fact that we have the original leveling bolts that go down. that are threaded down in through the casting here so you can do the leveling on your shop floor. So if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up at Machinery Consultants right here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Our phone number is 801-531-9500. And additional photos in this video can be previewed on our website at www.machineryconsultants.com. Thanks again and have a great day.